Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today we're making our own fabric labels so that we can personalize those handmade gifts. I think these are a lot of fun. I like to have a lot of different varieties and colors on hand to match all of my projects. And my friends over at Thermoweb, Online Labels, and Cricut have made this super easy. So let's jump over to the tutorial and I'll show you how. Okay, so this is an example of the fabric labels that I have been using and I have been getting an overwhelming amount of questions. I also have some that a friend gifted me, so I have some different ones, but this is a way that you can make your own in any color you want to match any of your projects, and I think these turned out really cute. So I'm gonna show you what you need to create these labels. The first thing you're going to need is some fabric. I'm just using a white percale um, cotton fabric and I have a piece of Heat and Bond Iron-On Fusible Interface. Now you can buy this at your local fabric store or Joann's um, by the yard, which is what I've done, and it'll come with uh, the instructions like this. And I bought the fusible interfacing in light. So you want the fusible interfacing in light. You can also buy it in a package like this but make sure it says interfacing up here, not adhesive. You can barely see it, this one's kind of faded, but it should say fusible interfacing, and you want the light to or medium weight because you're going to be sewing your labels on, so you wanna be able to sew through it. Now, the other thing you're going to need is some iron-on transfer paper. Online Labels has graciously sent me some iron-on transfer sheets for um, light fabrics, and I have tried these out. I absolutely love them. They come in eight and a half by 11. I like them because they are gridded on the back. Makes it easy to tell which is the front, which is the back, and it also makes it easy to line things up. Now, we're going to use these online labels, fusible interfacing, our cotton fabric, and then you're going to need, I like to use my Cricut Easy Press. I think it makes it super easy. Or you can use an iron, and if you're using an iron, you're probably going to heat it up to your cotton setting, or maybe even a little bit hotter. I'm using the uh, Cricut Easy Press at 305 for 30 seconds, and I'm using the Easy Press mat. So this makes it really, really convenient. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat our piece of fabric, make sure we've got all the wrinkles out of it. Once you've got all the wrinkles out of it, you're going to cut a piece of interfacing slightly smaller than your fabric, and that's just going to keep you from getting any adhesive on your mat or on your iron. And there's a bumpy side to this and a smooth side. You wanna put that bumpy side against the wrong side of your fabric. In this case, I have a solid. It doesn't really have a right and a wrong side, but you wanna put the bumpy side down on your fabric. That's the adhesive. And then we're just going to use our press. Again, I have it set at 305. And it just takes a few seconds. And this is why I like to use the Easy Press because I can do this really quickly on this large piece of fabric. And I've got my fabric cut to roughly eight and a half by 11. It's a little bit bigger, but that's not gonna be a problem. Okay, once you have your interfacing on your fabric, you can turn your fabric over. We're gonna be applying the iron-on transfer to the front. You might wanna give it one more press on the front side. Okay, now you're ready to print your labels. I have just used Microsoft Word and created a Word document that has all of my labels on it. I've put them in various colors. Now when you put this in your printer, you want to choose plain paper for the paper setting. And you also want to choose layout or however yours is, mine I choose layout. And then you want to make sure that flip horizontally is selected. You want to make sure that this prints in the mirror image. You can also do this in Cricut Design Space and just click mirror image. You also want to make sure you orient it in your printer in such a fashion that it's going to print on the blank side of the paper. Now, if you're not sure which way to orient it in your printer, I recommend just putting a plain piece of paper in with a piece, an X on the front, print something, see which side it prints on, and then that will tell you which side needs to be up when you put it into your printer. So I'm going to print my labels really quickly. Okay, so you can see I have printed my labels and they are mirrored. Everything is in reverse of the way it should be. That's okay. We're going to put this face down on our, 
Make sure you're on the fabric side, not the interfacing side. This was the side we applied the interfacing to. We're going to put the printed side down and I'm going to put the heat press 305. I'm going to set my timer 30 seconds and I'm just using a gentle pressure. We're going to let that count down for 30 seconds. And once our 30 seconds is up, we're going to move it down to the second half of the labels. I'm going to move it down, hit the timer, 30 seconds. And again, you want to preheat your material, put your interfacing on, print your labels, make sure they're mirrored, put it on the plain paper setting. Make sure you're printing on the plain side of the label paper. The grid side to the back. All right, we're gonna remove it from the heat. Again, if you're using an iron, I would recommend using your cotton setting. We're going to let this cool down. We don't want to peel it while it's hot. All right, once that has cooled, we can go ahead and remove the paper backing. And we now have fabric labels ready to go. What I like to do is use my Cricut cutting mat and I bought one of the Cricut rotary cutters specifically to use for paper or other things other than fabric. This has a little bit of both so I'm going to use this one on that and I just like to use a straight ruler, line it up and I've got my labels ready to go. Cut the other side. And you can make these any size you want. And they're ready to go. They're not going to fray. We can, you can add as much or as little text as you want. And I just leave mine in strips until I'm ready to use them. That way I don't have to try to keep track of them. And here's my fabric label. I could put that right on there and I just stitch lightly forward and backwards on whatever I'm applying it to. I'd like to thank my friends at Online Labels, Thermoweb, and Cricut for providing the products used in this video. I'll have them all linked below the video in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Visit me on my blog at laurininamaker.com and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.